Hi guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to create custom post types on WordPress using custom post type UI and advanced custom fields. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first we'll need to download the custom post type UI plugin and advanced custom fields plugin. So go to plugins and then add new. Okay, and then we're going to search custom post type UI. Yep, so this one here. Okay, and then also install this one down here, advanced custom fields. Okay, and then we're going to install them both. Okay, and then we're going to activate them both. So click activate. Okay, so next what we're going to do is create a custom post. So over here in the sidebar, what you want to do is add edit post type. Okay, and then post type slug, we're going to create services. So service, services, and then the plural label of services, and then service everything else looks good we just need to enable custom fields and then that should be good we can add post type okay so let's view our post type okay great so it's here and we have it here in the side here let's just fix it so that it's a capital s because it doesn't look that appealing so just these two we can make capital and then fix that so the label is updated yep so if we check here on the side it's capitalized Okay, and then if we click add new, okay, so we still need to add our fields. So in services, we're going to have services description and type. So we're going to go here into install plugins and yeah, we just need to activate advanced custom fields. Okay, so this is activated and then we can go over here and then go here into field groups. Okay, here into field groups and then add new. Okay, and then we're going to edit the label. The first is going to be text area. So this is going to be service description. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, and then add another field. This is going to be a service category, service category. Okay, so this is going to be services for dentistry. So we can say teeth whitening, teeth cleaning, and then let's just say braces. Actually, since it's it's the category, it should be something more broad. So we can do say cosmetic and then general. So these are two options first. Okay, and this is important so that it appears in our custom field. Just make sure that the post type is equal to service. Okay, and then let's save. So the title will just be services and save changes. Okay, great. So now if we go back here to services and then add new, we have our fields down here. So we have cosmetic in general, and then our image here as well. Okay, so let's just clean this up and see if we can remove the editor here because we don't really need this. Okay, so back here in custom post type UI, let's go to add an edit post type and then edit post type. Okay, and then over here, if we can just remove what we're not using. So the editor, we don't need that. Click save post type because we're using the custom fields. Okay, and then if we go back to all services and then add new. So now it's just our post types that we added here and the featured image. So let's start with one. So teeth cleaning. Okay. And then over here, we also need to change the permalink structure. So let's do that first. So we should do it here by post name and click save changes. Okay. And then let's do that again. So add services. Okay. And then again, teeth whitening. And then if we check here, now the URL is a lot cleaner. So it shows our custom post type, which is services. And then the actual service, which is teeth whitening. Okay. And then just pick an image, see what they have. Okay, I'll just upload an image of some teeth. Okay, and we'll use this image here. Okay, great, and then we can publish. Okay, we can view the post. So this template still needs to be overwritten because we need to create a template just for the posts, for the services post. But we can try, we can use Elementor and I'll show you a way to display it dynamically. So let's just add one more service. So we have a few in our query. Okay, and then this one will be braces. We can say cosmetic or something more like uh, veneers. Okay, and then we'll just add another image okay, and then publish this. Now we have three services. So let me just finish teeth cleaning as well. So you just go to edit. And pick an image. So we'll just use the same image. Okay, and then publish this. We'll just add a section to the homepage where it displays all of our services custom post types so to do that what we're going to do is install elementor 
And then we're gonna also need this one here, essential add-ons for Elementor. Okay, and activate Elementor first, and then essential add-ons after. Okay, we can just skip this. Okay, and then activate essential add-ons. You have to just the basic ones. We want the PostGrid one as well. So just make sure PostGrid is available. Okay, and then click next. Click next again. Next, no thanks. Okay, great, so now let's create our home page. So go to pages and then add new. Just the home, edit with Elementor. Okay, we can just exit this here and then we're just going to search PostGrid up to this one here and just drag that in. And then you see here, now we have the source. So we can choose services. Yep, and then our posts are queried here. So let's just do three per page. And then just the layout settings, it should be three columns. And we just need to clean this up a little bit. So first in the query, the author, you can just add the author there. And then the layout settings are here. So we can just make sure that the images are larger and then just make it a grid. Okay, so it looks better. Okay, so we don't need the date. We don't need the author. We don't need the read more button and the avatar. Yep, so this looks good. So you see here, they're dynamic. Okay, and then let's just give it a little title at the top. So just a heading, just our services. Okay, and then publish, and then view the homepage. Okay, great, so this is our homepage. And then you can click each one here and it'll redirect you to that specific service. Okay, so let's just create another post type just to show that it's dynamic. So back here in dashboard, go here to services and then add new. And then let's just do braces, braces, teeth. And this is general featured image. Let's just use the same image here Then publish. Okay, and let's just make the home page the default page. So in reading, over here, your home page settings, display home, save changes, okay, and then visit site. Okay, so we just need to add additional elements in our query. So it's, it's only showing three, but let's just change that to, let's say six. So to add more into our query, just over here, post per page, okay, let's put four. And then there's T whitening down here. So just click update. And then back on the home page, teeth whitening is showing here. So this is how you would create your own custom post types in WordPress with advanced fields and also how to display it on the front end using Elementor and the Elementor Essential Add-ons plugin. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to create custom post types on WordPress. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.